Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. So up to now we have did the basic e-commerce project. So adding the products and deleting the products, editing the products and adding the products into the cart, displaying the cart details, deleting the cart items, deleting the products that are present in the cart items. These are all the things we have did. It. And we also used the template engine. These are all the different types of things we have used it. But in, our, in order to save the data, that is nothing but saving the products data, we are using right now the file database. Okay, we are using the file management system in the, we are storing the data in the files and we are making use of the files and we are showing the data. So now it's time for us to move on to the another way of way of storing the data in our Node.js. Normally, typically we have two ways we can stay save the data that is using the relational database and also using the NoSQL database. So first we will try to learn about the relational database, how to save the data in the relational database. So relational database means you, you people already know about this one. So it will have a particular table structure, rows and columns. So you'll be having a schema. It will be having a relations between the table. So these are all the things you'll be having. So normal the, uh, the, pro the things which you comes under the relational database are SQL Server, Oracle, MySQL, PostgreSQL. So like this MariaDB. So these are all the things comes under the relational database. Now in this session, we will try to learn using one of the relational database that is nothing but most popular relational database that is also open source that is MySQL database. So you people, if you are coming from the PHP background and all those things, you people will be more uh, feeling more comfortable with the MySQL database. Let's try to see, let's try to use the same thing in the MySQL database, how we can use it in our uh, Node.js project and how we can save the data, the products data, these are all the things in the MySQL database and how we can retrieve it and all those things. Let's try to see in this session. Before in, uh, before using this MySQL and all those things, first we need to make sure that MySQL database is installed in your system or not. If it is installed means you can ready, you can ready use that MySQL and we can start using that one. But if you have it not installed, so just see how we can install this MySQL database. Right now I don't have any MySQL in my system. So if you want to install, so let's just go to the my just type MySQL here and you'll be able to open mysql.com. So this is the main official website of the MySQL database. This one is an open source database. You also have an enterprise edition, which is a commercial, but we'll be using this normal thing only, com community edition only, it's, which is an open source. Here, if you go into this one, you'll be able to see downloads. Okay, so this is the downloads. And in this download, so here you'll be able to see enterprise edition, cluster GC, so these are all the things you will be having a technical support and all those things will be provided in the enterprise edition. So now we advanced features management tools. These are all the things are provided, but here we'll be using community edition. So let's click on the community edition and here you'll be able to see some of the options. So APT, so we APT is a APT, which is for Ubuntu. And uh, so these are all the things which are useful for. So right now I'm using MySQL installer for windows. Okay, if you want, you can install this MySQL community server. So okay, this is the main thing which we want to install it. And also we need a MySQL workbench also, which is a, which will connect to the MySQL server and we can play around with that MySQL database, the queries execution and all those things we can use it in the MySQL workbench. There are also some, some other client tools, uh, GA tools, which are available to connect to the community server and we can, uh, we can use it. Most, com most commonly in the PHP side, we will be using uh, PHP my admin. So, so many people will be feeling more comfortable with the PHP my admin. If you want, you can use the PHP my admin also, not a problem. If you are having PHP and WAMP, if you install in your system, it will come by default if you install WAMP or XAMPP like that. We will be using MySQL workbench only, which is an official one. So for this one, for Windows, we will be having MySQL installer. If you click on this one, you will be able to have something around 5.5 .5 MB of this 5.5 uh, MB. Let's download this. So if you download this a 5.5 MB installed, so this will, it will, this will download from the internet again, what are the softwares really required and it will install it. So here it will ask you for the login. So you can also have an option not to log in. Also, you can click on no tanks, just start my download. And here it is, it has installed. It has downloaded the 5.5 MB of installer. If you, if you are coming from anything Mac or Ubuntu means, so you can go to the community server directly. So here you can go directly here. You can click on this MySQL community server and here for installer, you'll be fi uh, 
for windows you will be having installer but here you can install directly my uh, you can download directly 215 mb of mysql so here you can select the uh, os version whichever the os version you want it here you will be having mac os also so dmg format you are having so like this you can download it right now the win for windows in installer is available so i am using this one as my system is the windows os so it will go through like this please wait while windows so it will take some time and it will open a Win mysql installer 1.6 so now it will open a window here and here i am taking the custom so if you want you can take the developer default also not a problem in the custom what i need to do i need to select the software switch i need to install it i told you right so one is the mysql server so i am taking the 8 version so here 8 64 bit version so i have taken this one and another one is i am taking this applications and here i am installing the workbench also workbench means it has already told you which is useful for uh, uh, for client client GA tool. so for connecting to the server and executing the queries so here mysql server 8.0.30 64-bit version and mysql workbench i am using so here i am clicking on the next so these are all the things it will be installed okay next i am taking so you have warning sir i should yes so already it was installed previously so here it is installing mysql server like this so i am clicking on the execute so it now it will download it from the internet now this time this is downloading from the internet mysql workbench and also the mysql server is downloaded workbench successfully downloaded and sql server is getting downloaded it is around 215 mb something like that right now it is downloading this 215 mb so this is also downloaded next click on the next so now it is there these are ready to install if you click on execute it will take some time to install it so it is taking so it is installing very fastly only 42 percent 43 percent now both have been successfully installed let's click on the next so if i click on the next ready to configure so next let's click on the next one so this is the configuration and click next so i'm using this legacy authentication method why because strong password encryption authentication so some of the native drivers which are available in the node or any other drivers so the up to now they didn't uh, they don't they up to now they don't have a support for this use strong encryption but this legacy authentication methods which was using from this mysql 5.x compatibility so i have all the drivers compatibility so that is the reason we are using this legacy authentication method only. so don't use this strong authentication this is a new authentication method which was introduced in the mysql 8 so some of the drivers will be there which doesn't support this still uh, this authentication thing so click on the next one so here it will be asking the password so here i can tell password so normally check so it is trying to check it yeah now click on the also as i already have the password so it is trying to check with them so or otherwise it will ask you to enter the new password so repeat password new password it will try to ask you so it is clicking uh, now i am clicking on the execute so it will take some some time to start the server so it is it has started the server i am clicking on the finish now configuration everything is finished so now we can start the mysql workbench so here i am clicking on the mysql workbench so there is nothing but a software which provides us to connect to the server and we can execute the queries and we can see the table schema and all those things we can see using this mysql workbench if you want you can also install third party tools also so many things are available so here this is our mysql workbench if i click on the local instance so this is our thing root and my password is password so if you if you have any other password you can keep it and now if you try to see here so this is the project which i have created the schema so let's try to drop the schema here i am dropping now so if you if you see here so like this it will be having so now here you will be able to see the list of all schemas schemas means nothing but the tables which you are having and now i am creating a new schema here create a schema nothing but a create a table so here it will ask you so i am telling node e-commerce app okay so i am using this node e-commerce app and i can click on the apply so you can keep all those all things so apply now a new schema has been created there is nothing but a new 
new database has been created sorry not tables i told tables all right now new database has been created and here you'll be able to see the list of tables so if you try to see the tables there are nothing no tables are available as this one is a new database so now let's try to create a table if you try to create a table here i can use create table and in this table so the name of the table you can write the name of the table and what are the rows needed for this one so i am taking first one as an id so which is an integer so it's a primary key not null unique and unsigned so unsigned means nothing but it will take only the positive numbers auto increment auto increment means it should be a, it should be an auto increment and another one is the title so title it should be something around 255 so i am taking 255 character length and this one is also not null and another one i will be having description so these are all the things which you are having right so description i am taking text so this could this should be also not null and another one is image url so this one is also where care of 255 i can take it and this one is also not null and another one which i can say is image url price so price is also one of the thing so here so this one you can take it as double okay this one takes as a double or otherwise you can click on the drop down here you will be able to see oh not a float i am taking it as a double and this one is also not null that's it so title description image url and price so these are the only things which you are using right so let's try to make it as simple so this is our products table and these are all the rows which we are having and click on the apply and it will create the table products table id int unsigned not null and auto increment which is a primary key and title so not null description like this and primary key unique key index has been applied to the id <coughs> if i click on the apply so it has been created successfully now if you try to see here at that bottom so now here you will be able to see the select row select from products and here we are not having any data so this is how we will be installing the mysql database server and also installing this mysql workbench and this is how we will be creating the table so right now we have the database set up and also we have a basic table products table also in the next session we will try to connect to this data uh, mysql database node e-commerce app through the node.js code and we will try to get this all the products details we will try to see it how we can get those things hope you understood about the installation of the mysql server so the same thing happen uh, this is the same thing we can do it in the same in the mac and also for the ubuntu also the same process this uh, process will be the same thing only if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you